All right, so in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to snorkel a 570 razor. This is just how I did it. I know a lot of other people do it different ways, but this is kind of how I felt was the best way to do it. In all my videos where there's kind of a black um, line on either side, that's because I just recorded it with my phone. It's a little bit easier to upload, a little faster. So that's kind of what I'm doing with this one here. Um, I figured it was a good time to talk about it now that his transmission's out. We're gonna do the gear reduction. But a lot of people kind of do put it up right here in the center, but I didn't like the way it was because of the header. I didn't want to do it, deal with all the heat issues coming up, and I like the longevity kind of snorkel here, so what we did, I'm gonna start with the air box. Um, right off of that, I put the crankcase vent line right here in the very top of the snorkel. That way, if um, water gets in, it can go from the bottom to the top, and then before it reaches the crankcase, because if water gets in through this, Hopefully it'll go on the top of the cylinder and maybe we can flush it out without having a problem um, before it gets to this. Off the air box we're going to do is do a 2 inch to 2 inch rubber coupling. Seal that off. And then all I did was I did a 45 street 90 or a street 45 to a little section of tubing. I'm not sure the exact size but you're just going to play with that to a 90 and then go up. And also with his though, when we added the cage, he wanted his to the center because all the speakers right here wouldn't allow me to bring them up and over. So we routed them to the center and then up and they dump out all up there above his a uh, light bar there. And then after that, say for his belt intake, we did the straight uh, two inch to two inch rubber coupling to a sh another street 45. And then underneath the bed here, we added a 90 to a small section of pipe, 2 inch, and then another 90, and that went up. And then that does the center, the center snorkel there. And you just go up from there. For his belt intake, our belt exhaust, I did a 3 inch to 2 inch rubber coupling right here to a 90 which is that white piece right there. And that's gonna go above your belt intake. So then we've got that white two inch right here, then to a 22 and a half, and then we'll go back down below again to a 45 street 90. So it's real tough to see, you really can't see it, but it's gonna do a, a 45 street 90 right there to a 90 degree and it's gonna go straight up again to the outside there. And it's gonna bring the, so they got belt exhaust, belt intake, air intake. And then all you're gonna do with the vent lines, I took these right here. They're all gonna come up through just the, there's already kind of a cut out in the bed there, brought all, all up there. So you got the transmission is one. You got the front differential is another. Then you got the gas tank as the other one. That's the only three uh, vent lines you need. I use black fuel vent line just to, because I don't like the clear vent line because it ends up cracking or it ends up um, kind of getting frayed over time or getting hard and stuff. So this vent, black vent line here is gonna help out for longevity. And then once you get that done, I always add the um, rubber couplings here. That way I can take off these four clamps or whatnot and take this whole thing off and then the bed can come off. And the snorkel will still stay the same. With the crankheads vent line, what I always do on all mine, whether it be a 300 or anything I do, I always put a loop in it. And this is what ends up in the top of the air box like I was talking about. So you want to do that. Of course, always dielectric grease your, um, all your electrical connections. Definitely dielectric grease your spark plug. Um, this goes to like, say, one of the sensors, your uh, fuel, um, fuel sender, your injector everything so just dial it grease all that and on the 570 and along with a lot of the other player scissors a vent hole in the back of the gauge cluster here you want to seal up and um, once you get all that stuff done you should be pretty well set so this is that And again, with my clutch system and my belt intake, I always clean, or uh, clutch and the air intake, I always seal up everything.
it might take a little bit to get off, but in the end, I have not leaked. Uh, th this belt's been on here for probably two or three years now. I've never had a drop of water in the air intake or the belt intake. Um, so it's that's kind of what I prefer. I don't like to do the grease because I'm just not sure of it. So I've never even tried it, but I've never had a problem with the silicone. So that's what I would do on this.